Hello, yes, my name is John Merles, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, uh, born and raised there. Uh, my mom and dad, I came from a wonderful family, had three older brothers and a sister. Uh, I was a young man who went to church with my mom, um, off some, sometimes with my dad as well. Uh, but I um, uh, went to church most of my life, got confirmed, uh, went through a baptism of sorts, uh, the youth group, a uh, number of things at work. Uh, but uh, I went away to school when I was 17 years old. I uh, went away to uh, U of A, Tucson, Arizona, University of Arizona. And uh, within my first semester, I, as I was away at school, I was uh, um, in a dorm called Kaibab Huachuca. A guy named Gerald Sanchez was a resident advisor on that dorm. And uh, um, what took place is, uh, he questioned me about whether I knew Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And he did that because uh, my life did not show any picture of Jesus, uh, a righteous, a holy God, uh, being at work in my life. I was busy doing a lot of things that uh, were shameful, things that uh, I never thought that I would do, you know, uh, uh, drinking a bit, partying a great deal, and, and just a number of things. Um, I didn't know Christ, and Gerald Sanchez knew that. He lived across the hall from me, he was a, an, an RA, and over a period of time he watched my life. He told me about Jesus Christ, told me about the salvation that he had experienced after accepting Christ as his Savior. Uh, but I, I just kind of blew him off. Uh, I did, you know, I, I had church, you know, I, I have a mental attitude, I've got an intellectual knowledge of who Jesus was. But, but there was a day came after several months and me watching my life falling apart and making bad decisions that Gerald Sanchez, he caught me at a, a very uh, unusual time and said, John, are you sure that you're right with God? Are you sure you're, you know Jesus Christ and you're living for him? And uh, I knew right then and there that I was not a Christian. I wasn't saved. The salvation he talked about, I had watched his life. There was something very powerful about his life. And, I didn't have that. There was a stability. There was a peace he had, a real joy. And, uh, and so at that moment, I, I knew God it was dealing with me and had been dealing with me. And he asked me if I wouldn't like to pray. And I bowed my knee and I accepted Christ as my Savior. Not a great, powerful prayer, but Jesus, I know that I'm in my sin. I, I know that I'm not right with you. And I accept the salvation that you went to the cross to pay for in my behalf. And, and uh, uh, I walked away from that prayer and not really knowing that anything happened, uh, but the hours and the days that followed, it was very clear that Jesus Christ had come into my heart. It was as if my conscience had edges on it again. And uh, this is uh, over 35 years ago. And God has made himself so very real. And I just want to uh, make it very clear to you. Uh, the Bible says, Jesus said, you must be born again, a spiritual birth. And I declare to you, that's, that's what happened to me. I received Christ as my Lord and Savior. I was serious about it. Jesus came into my heart uh, in the, my sincerity, my prayer. He responded, he answered me. Since that time, God has done miracles in, in terms of my uh, making himself real to me. I'm married, beautiful wife, Normina. I have three children. I've got one grandchild and one on the way. And uh, God just continues to do miracles in so many ways of provision. And uh, uh, God called me into the ministry and I'm actually pastoring uh, the church in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's called the Potter's House uh, Christian Center. And we, uh, we're there on Highway 15. Uh, 3rd Street South, uh, off Old Highway, uh, old, uh, old Kings Highway, uh, but it's 307 uh, Highway 15 in, in Myrtle Beach. And uh, uh, if you haven't received Christ as your Savior, uh, I would so much uh, like you to consider that course of action because Jesus Christ is the most important decision you'll make in your entire life. And I thank you for listening to my testimony. Amen. My name is John Merles, and uh, I am the pastor of the Potter's House uh, in Myrtle Beach. Um, the address is 307 Highway 15. 
If you needed to contact me, uh, my number is 843-489-0260. And I would encourage you, if you are uh, in the gray area about receiving Christ as your Savior, please contact me, 843-489-0260. Thank you.